Hey guys, welcome back, this is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be derping around a little bit and making a mob farm. Alright guys, so we have something special in store as you probably just heard. We are going to be making a mob farm slash grinder. Um, and we're going to do that using the Drops of Evil. Now, I have tested and they do work, so I wouldn't know why they'd be disabled, but uh, they do work. And I also got the server back up and running. Um, so now running on a server yet again, uh, this time locally. Um, hopefully that makes things a little bit easier. I'll just keep it running overnight and stuff like that. So I can I can kind of uh, keep an eye on it, make sure everything's running smoothly. Still having some uh, issues with uh, like chunks not loading, but that's just normal. Um, but we're going to craft a few things. Um, as you can see, I set up almost everything we're going to need for today um, right here. But... Uh, we probably are going to have to craft a few things back at the base. But if we go to Ender.io, I really need to get this thing set up, mainly because we need more Ender Pearls. This is all the Ender Pearls we currently have, and uh, that's not very good. Um, but I would love to get this, um, the Experience Obelisk, which is going to allow us to get experience from our, uh, our mob farm. And we're also going to need a few other things. Go back to Ender.io. We're going to need a vacuum chest and an XP vacuum. These require pulsating crystals and this one does too. So does the obelisk. Um, so the obelisk is probably going to come after um, we get our farm up and running and get our first few ender pearls because we only have two ender pearls at the moment. Kind of starving for ender pearls. I could go searching for Enderman, but I think I'm gonna wait until we get this up and running. Um, this seems to be this will this will be better for me to have this up rather than just making an Enderman farm, because this will farm all mobs and uh, it'll be pretty fast. So I won't have to really worry about about it too much. We're also gonna use a mechanical user, um, and we're gonna give it a sword. Um, if that doesn't work, we're gonna revert to spikes. Um, so we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, when we start doing this. So we do have to go back to the base. Uh, I, I was just looking for a place to build it. Also, got this guy upgraded. As you can see, he's mining a lot wider. Um, got him a few more upgrades in there. Um, hopefully that will work. I don't know if this chest might be full. Almost. Um, it looks like it's getting a pretty good amount of resources, um, which is really nice. So some even some gold and stuff like that. I think I'm going to set it up so that way um, I have a filter that will automatically sort these things out. Because I'm not really wanting that stuff in there anyways. So it's not too big of a deal. But alright, we're going to head back to the base and we're going to get crafting with a few things. Um, I am going to need one of those. Now that I look at it, I'm going to go ahead and... Oops, there we go. Oh, I don't want you doing that. Oh, now it's going to have to finish up doing what it was doing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I forgot that that recipe was in there. I need it to make some stuff. Um, I guess we can go ahead and get our pulsating stuff done. So let's set this to alloys only. There we go. We'll get us two of these uh, pulsating iron smelt it up we'll also need two diamonds because we are going to need definitely the vacuum chest um for sure the xp is optional um i think it will produce xp using the mechanical user i think um i'll be testing it out with you guys so um i guess we'll all learn something new if that's the case all right i got to get rid of these impregnated sticks we got too much going on here. All right, let's take this out. I got too much stuff in my inventory. All right, uh, bam, there we go. All right, I was trying to make this quick and simple, but uh, it never ends up going that way, um, <laughs> which is always funny. All right, let's uh, put this in here. Let's get our recipe set up. We need one of our basic capacitors in there. We also throw this stuff in here as well because we're going to need it anyways. We'll set that in there, and then that. And then, bam, it should craft us our machine chassis. All right, we're going to need that for our 
um, experience obelisk when we get to it. Um, cause right now we don't have, I mean, we have the materials to go ahead and make it. Um, but we have no need to make it at the moment. I can also get rid of this mining multi-tool. I don't need that anymore. And they're really easy to make anyways. All right. So some of the other stuff that we're going to, we're going to need, um, we're going to need a sword. Um, this, the ender sword might be an okay thing for right now. Cause I don't plan on upgrading this thing any so using it inside the farm is going to be fine. So we have a sword. Um, let's see, what other stuff are we going to need? Like I said, the vacuum chest, that is what we needed. Um, we need to take our pulsating and convert that down and get ourselves two of these pulsating crystals. And we're going to use that to make a vacuum chest, which is awesome. Love a vacuum chest. And we need to make an experience rod, which we're gonna have to make another one later on. But now we have an experience vacuum, um, which is pretty cool. Pulls orbs, so it'll pull through walls, hopefully. And uh, then we're gonna need to go out and build some stuff. Um, we have our mechanical user, we have our sword. Just making sure we have everything. Oh, we also need to make these guys. With you, when you search dark utilities, you'll get a few different things that'll pull up. And uh, vector plates is what you want. Um, the recipe is different than normal. Um, it uses conveyor belts. So conveyor belts and some basalt slabs. I think this basalt will work. Um, it's the basalt that we have. Is it? it I hate how it doesn't tell us, um, but I'm pretty sure this is the right basalt slabs. And then we're gonna need uh, conveyor belts. So let's set these conveyor belts up. There we go, we can get as many as we need. That's a lot of conveyor belts. But I want a bunch of these vector plates. We can always use them later. And I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is put them in here to upgrade them. Which we're not gonna be upgrading them anyways, so I'm not too worried there. Okay, let's just put away our vector, or our conveyor belts, we can use those later. And uh, making sure we have everything else. I'm pretty sure that's it. We have redstone for redstone lining. Um, and we have building blocks. Okay. So uh, we're just about ready to go. Let's go ahead and build this thing. Um, I don't normally build them too big. I have built these before. I think I built one in FTB Beyond. So hopefully this will uh, be just, just the same. So I want three wide in the front. Um, we can go ahead and line it like this. Eventually I'll probably replace it with some glass um, that's dark. But let's go ahead and do that. Two more out on this side, two out on that side. A total of should be seven blocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then same on this and just close it in doesn't even need to be very big. This little room is going to be fine. Two, three, four. You need to make sure that it is at least tall enough for Endermen to spawn. And this is perfect. Just like so. So, we'll just continue on. And once I get to the top, that's when I'm going to start placing some things. I don't think I can reach that. There we go. And we'll head on over here. Okay. So we need some lights in this thing. And we also want to put the roof as the dark oak. And right here I want a lamp. And I'm guessing right here I want a lamp. Right here, we'll get a lamp and same right here. Awesome. And then the rest will be just filled in. Just like so. Okay. And then we'll run our redstone. Just run it across. Here. And I think I can put the lever on the top. Or right in the top so we have access to it can hop down here. 
There we go, and we can turn our lights, or turn our mobs on and off. Just like that. Okay, so we have grass in here, which we need to leave that alone. And just fit this with all of our wood. Nice and enclosed, nothing fancy. Bam, all right, we're good. We're just about ready to go. Fill this up, there we go. I wanna leave a little spot open at the moment. Um, just so I can put my mechanical user and also put down our plates. Um, so our plates, our mechanical user is gonna go right here. So we need to make sure we get mobs are spawning right there. I'm gonna leave this spot open. Um, we need to make sure that they really are going in that direction. All right, put that going straight. And I think I can just do the same all the way for here. Um, leaving this, I'm gonna break this one. And I'm gonna use it later. But yeah, all these other, other ones can go just like this. All right, and we are going to make sure we have our drop of evil ready to go. Um, as soon as we place this, actually, you know what? Let's go outside. Let's turn our lights on so nothing really spawns. And you can place that in there. I know, nice and evil sounding. Put that here. Let's get our mechanical user. Wherever it's at, there it is. Break this. Good thing that's dirt, otherwise it would have spread. We're facing the wrong way. There we go. And we should be able to put our sword in here. And generic click. Use item entity. Right click. Um, upper left slot only. Always on. Um, and I want it down below because I want it to hit mobs that are even down below. Okay, um, here's what we gotta do. We gotta close this whole thing off. Unfortunately, we won't get to really see anything, but we can put our vacuum chest and our XP chest right here. And uh, this guy looks like it doesn't have any UI or anything. I d I've never used that before. But we should get mob spawning in here if I've done everything correctly. Let's see, we can make sure this is ranged enough. Definitely. Probably even drop the range. All right, we should get mob spawning. I'm not seeing any. Should be dark enough in here. Let's see, let's uh, close this off. I hope this isn't disabled because it worked for me in my test world. At least that was a test world, I'm not too for sure. Ooh, this is wanting to pull, it won't pull the items through the wall. Might have to use it in the wall. There we go. Now that'll work. Okay. Um, let's see if we can't get mobs to spawn. Unless mobs just don't spawn in this area. Um, we can F7. It shows that light's getting in somewhere. All right, so I think I figured out the problem, and the problem was light was basically getting in here through the either the vacuum chest or the mechanical user. I think the mechanical user lets light in as well. Um, so it wasn't really doing what it was supposed to, um, unfortunately. But uh, I went ahead and extended this out because once you go past a certain point, the light, like probably right in here, um, the light will dissipate, thus they will all spawn down back here. So, 
um, and then they'll be pushed this way anyways so I'm not too concerned about that um, I'm just gonna go ahead and place all these just like so and fill this whole thing with these plates um, it's just gonna shoot them forward and we should have have enough there's no reason why we wouldn't and then I'll just place the other drop of evil I do have a couple more drops of evil um, I can place it right here it should cover this whole area with no problem come back okay I guess it doesn't want to okay yeah you heard it it just happened all that happened let's make sure we get these fixed as well come back out um, take our wood cover it close it up all right is this working um it says grid power 0 out of 16 um, does that mean it doesn't require grid power it does there we go now it's doing its thing Okay, so it's going to be attacking the mobs that they are all over this area. Um, let's go ahead and extend the range up a little bit. I don't hear anything breaking or anything happening like that. So we'll just keep an eye on it. As you can see, it does suck the items in. I love the way this wood looks, by the way. Alright, so we haven't got any mob drops yet. There we go. Alright, so we're getting mob drops now. We're doing it's doing its thing. It is working. We now have a mob farm. Um, but when it comes to this experience. Oh, I didn't like that. That was a witch. Alright, so we're getting we're getting items. Let's see. We're going to need some way to pull these out and put them in a chest or in some kind of storage um, for now. But yeah, we got it working. Um, after a little bit of trial and error, it did work. So all these guys are being pushed forward. This is slow, pretty slow, I must say. Um, and it looks like once this runs out of power, it's going to start taking full damage. So getting a tinker's tool in here will probably be the best thing for us is getting a tinker's tool or we can eventually upgrade to these golden spikes um, we could possibly do that um, diamond spikes I'm not too for sure if we have enough diamond for that I don't think we do I just kinda want to keep an eye on this pick it looks like it's gonna run out of power soon yeah it's starting to take durability damage like it takes durability damage anyways but yeah we're getting we're getting a few drops I hear Enderman in there just not seeing our drops oh we got gunpowder that's good because gunpowder is actually used for a few things um in the vat is where it really comes in handy Oh man, I'm, I'm kind of excited we have a mob farm running. Um, let me make sure to chunk load the this this guy. Good thing he's on two chunks perfectly. Awesome, so this should stay running. Um, this is a type of mob farm that will run even when you're not nearby. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm just making sure our coal looks looks good. This looks pretty good, I must say. I want to clear out some of the junk that we don't need for it so it can continue getting some of the good stuff. But yeah, pretty nice. Awesome. Okay, um, we're going to head back to the base. I want to make that experience obelisk. And I just want to see if the experience obelisk does what it should do. I don't know if this is actually generating experience. That's what I'm kind of wondering about. Okay. Uh, we should have everything on us to make that experience obelisk. Go back to Ender IO, experience obelisk. Need another experience rod. And the experience obelisk itself. Okay, and I don't know if we can put it up next to it and it will work. We might need 
um, some of the fluid piping, which I think I have one in here. No, I do have one here. I could probably just steal, or you know, what? I could take this because we're not using it right now. Okay, um, let's head back. I want to see if that experience is actually working, and we are getting our experience drops like we should. That'll be really nice if we are. I'm just not seeing it. Um, and then we also need to figure out some kind of storage. Probably not in this episode, but we will get some storage hooked up to here with Spidercon. Ooh, we're getting cobwebs? That must be a drop of spiders. Okay, set this to always active. I don't see anything in there. So, I'm not seeing any levels, so... You know what? Upgrading to that golden spike. That's probably going to be something that I want to do. Um, the spike is probably going to be one of the best things for us since this is going to require um, having it going like it is. Um, it's going to get player drops possibly, but I'm not too for sure. Um, but we do have enough gold. All right, so here's everything for the uh, spike that we're going to need. Just some gold and make some swords. And we get four of those for that, so that's not too bad. Let's go back real quick and set these spikes up um, instead of the mechanical user, because I just I just don't think the mechanical user is doing a great job. Um, and I'll set these in the floor. Um, that'll kind of make things a little bit different. Let's turn this guy off, because I do want experience, because that's how we're going to get a few things. I'm not seeing any ender pearls, unfortunately. But I'm sure there are ender pearls. Just we have to get some endermen over here. Um, and locking down ender pearls, we could do. I don't want to bust this open because I really don't want to have them jumping at me. Ooh, that was bad. I broke the roof. That's funny, that does even more damage to them. But it also broke a redstone. Pull her up with some marble. Awesome. Let's fix our redstone. By the way, I used a uh, redstone repeater to get this signal all the way this distance. Pretty simple. There we go. Alright, that's back up. Fix that issue. Looks like we got uh, some skeletons. That was it. Okay. That was the last of it. Oh. So is this not sucking up the experience? Uh, that should have been sucking up the experience. It's kind of not good that that's not working. Um, unless I just don't know how the vacuum, the XP vacuum works. I'm trying to click on the UI and there is no UI, so... Or GUI or anything like that, so I can't really access it. Um, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this. Break these blocks. This is where our spikes are going to go right down here. So they should fall, take some to start taking damage. All of them right there. Okay. Pretty nice. Um we'll just put this back up. Um if this vacuum, if this XP hopper does not work, I don't know what to do. Um the XP vacuum pulls nearby XP orbs and pushes them into adjacent tanks, containers. Okay, maybe let's move this thing. Um, we could put it right here. Um, we could possibly put it here. Um, it gets sucked in here, didn't it? We could put it here instead and that might work 
I think this holds. I don't know. Let's, let's just pull it out just to make sure. Um, and then we'll, I guess we can try it again. Um, this should pump. I, I'm assuming that it should suck from all sides. Unless it has an issue with this vacuum chest being nearby. But I don't think that should matter. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again. Let's get our blocks out of here. Okay. And set this back up. Um, I think that we should be good on that side. Oops. We're gonna have to use wood temporarily for that one spot. But uh, I think that'll be fine. Okay, and then we will set this back up. Let's set this to extract. Always active. Set this to insert. Go ahead and give, give it all of our experience for now. Um, this guy should be fine and turn it on. They should all start taking... I don't know about spiders now. Spiders might block this whole thing up. I might set a spike specifically for the spiders then. Let's turn this off. Okay. Let's rethink the design here. Okay, so here's the kind of design that I decided to go with. Hopefully this will help with some things. I could possibly put one up here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we kind of have them all setting here. I wonder if these plates were preventing items or preventing XP from going inside the vacuum. Um, so I left the spot open here and a spot open at the top. Hopefully that fixes that. And most everything will die right here, this first spike. Um, and I almost died to that spike. So um, yeah, that was not fun. But yeah, we should be able to close this back up now, start it back up, and hopefully see some experience, possibly. I'm really wanting the experience. Um, I don't know why it is being stubborn, um, but we can go ahead and get this. Gotta love it when it does that. Okay, and then we could set this back up. This to extract, always active. And... Let's just be on the safe side, take all of our things. I don't remember if it holds its its internal storage. There we go. We can click this and set this to insert. Okay. And then here's our here's all of our stuff that's being picked up. So far we've gathered quite a bit. I would love to see some interpearls, but I'm not. So that's not looking too hot. Okay. So 44 levels. Good to go. I think we're all closed up. Kick this bad boy back on. And uh, hopefully this also works. Um, so it is working. Uh, we're kind of getting an issue with levels. So it still looks like there is an issue with levels. Needs to be activated with liquid experience. Oh, so we need liquid experience. How do you get that? Bottler. I guess this thing has liquid experience in it. Let's try that real quick. We gotta go back to the base. Get a bucket. Maybe that fixes it. And then I... Well, you know what? We have this. We could probably scoop up some liquid experience with it. Yes. Can we activate this thing? It went in there. It's working. I seen some. I seen it go in there. Well, you know what? It's not picking it up. Yeah, it is. Oh, sweet. Okay. So if you watch, it is going up. So now it is picking up the experience. Okay, everything... We got an ender pearl. Everything's working. Everything's working. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is exciting. This is going to make my life a lot easier. Oh man, that is... That was a mess. Um, I guess because I didn't read that tooltip. That's basically it. So this guy does a pretty good job. I'm, I'm really liking this. Um, this iron miner. Um, and it's doing a pretty good job. It, ain't, it doesn't even look like it's gotten too far um, in its job, but it is doing a pretty good job. And since we have that, we're actually going to have to give it another another shovel. 
unfortunately. I think I may work on making a unbreakable shovel as well. Just not in this episode. Um, but we did get a uh, mob farm um, of some sort. Uh, don't judge me. I know I derp a lot. I'm reading that tooltip. You guys are probably screaming at me saying, read the tooltip. You need to activate it. Man, I can't believe I didn't read... I read the first part, but I did not see the needs to be activated with liquid experience. Oh, oh well. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.